start by soaking 20 wheat straws with heads. When your straws have soaked long enough to become nice and pliable, lay two straws down in an X with the heads about two inches above the X. You want to make sure the right hand one is on top of the left hand one. Add a straw to the right side, keeping the heads even with the first one, and then pick up the entire weaving and jilt the new straw you just added. You'll fold that one down around the left hand straw and then fold it up to lie right alongside the left hand straw. Then flip the entire weaving over and to do the exact same thing adding a straw to what was previously the left side but is now the right side and then you'll fold it down and then fold it up to lay beside the left hand. Now to lock those straws in place just take the long one that's up with the heads and fold it down to lay beside the left hand straw then flip the weaving over again and take the other long straw and fold it down to lay beside the new left hand straw. So then repeat that again adding a straw to the right hand side and this time you fold it down around both the straws and then fold it up to lay beside the left hand straws. Once again flip it over Add your straw to the right side, fold it down around both, and lay it up beside the left hand heads. And then once again fold it down to lay beside the left hand straws, flip the weaving over, and fold the long one down to lay beside the left hand straws. And so then you'll just keep going in that manner each time adding everything to the right side and each new straw you add will be folding around more straws. So this time it will fold around three, the next time it will fold around four. And always make sure you remember to flip the weaving over before you add the straw on the next side. So then once you've got the last two locked in place, what you're going to want to do is lift up the second straw and push the first one underneath it. And then do the same thing on the left side. Lift up the second straw and push the second one underneath it. And then repeat that process again. On the right side, lift up the second straw and push the first one underneath it. And then again on the left side lift up the second straw and push the first one underneath it. And you're just going to keep going like that until you have all the straws locked over. And so then the last two you'll just fold underneath and then cut off the ends and tie them off with a little bit of thread. And then do the same thing on the other side. And so then just tie over the thread ends with a colorful piece of ribbon.
And if you cut it so it's a little long, you can let the, the short end trail down. And so then here we have the finished weaving.